how the high level professional designers use the basic principles might surprise you in some cases. But if we can actually study how they use them, we can then ourselves become complete masters at the basics. Now the Nike logo was designed by Carolyn Davidson in 1971, and actually at the time she was a student. But the design is so iconic and has gone on to be evolved by the pros. But the question is, where do graphic design principles fill into this masterpiece of design? The Nike logo keeps it simple with just two things. The famous swoosh and the word Nike in big, bold letters. Now this simplicity makes it an easy to recognize and hard to forget design. By utilizing simplicity, the logo captures the spirit of the Nike brand perfectly. But here is where the first principle comes into play. The swoosh isn't just a cool shape. It's all about movement and energy, giving off those vibes of speed and movement, something linked to athletics. It's like a visual cue that screams, let's go, let's get it. And it's paired with the italic font on Nike. And so together we have a sense of movement and flow in one forward direction, perfect for sports. Also, check out the contrast between the swoosh and the word Nike. They are the perfect dynamic duo, playing off of each other to grab your attention. The bold letters make sure you see the brand name loud and clear, while the swoosh adds an extra bit of flair. One is elegant and smooth, the other is rigid, man-made and strong. With this contrast, together, they make the Nike logo pop no matter where you see it. And yes, I did say it. The logo pops. There, I said it. Now I'm pretty sure you didn't expect me to bring up Old Spice in this graphic design video, but hey, here we are and let's get into it. The Old Spice marketing is a blend of humor, wit, and a touch of surrealism. This approach not only grabs attention, but also creates a sense of intrigue and amusement among the viewers. And this encourages them to engage with the content a lot more. But this is also the design principle of contrast. Whether it's between the absurd and the ordinary or the unexpected and the predictable, they juxtapose the larger than life visuals with everyday scenarios, creating a sense of surprise and delight for the viewers. Now this contrast, it grabs attention and also it makes the ads stand out in a sea of other mediocre ads. But also the Old Spice ads establish a clear visual hierarchy to guide the viewer's attention and to communicate key messages effectively. So important elements such as the product shots or the catchy slogan, they are given prominence through variation in size, color, and also placement. This is just hierarchy 101. Also, color plays a crucial role in the Old Spice ads. It contributes to their playful and vibrant aesthetic. Bold, saturated hues are used to grab attention and evoke emotions, while subtle gradients and shading add depth and dimension to the visuals. The color palette is carefully chosen to reinforce the brand's energetic and youthful personality, and this makes the ads instantly recognizable and memorable. And then the most important, or one of the most important aspects to the marketing of this design. Typography in Old Spice ads is bold, dynamic, and attention-grabbing. Catchy slogans are rendered in large, eye-catching fonts that demand to be read. Conversely, supporting text is kept simple and legible for easy comprehension. The typography reflects the brand's confident and irrelevant tone, adding personality and a flair to the ads. And as you can see, as something as out there and seemingly random as Old Spice, it still has a lot of fundamentals, a lot of graphic design principles and basics woven into it. And graphic design principles are literally found everywhere if you look properly. So from Old Spice to Tyler the Creator, more specifically is album artwork for Igor. Now, how do you think graphic design principles have been used here? I mean, it's a really simple design, right? Surely not much thought has had to go into it. Actually, yeah, it has. Now, this contrast creates a sense of tension and mystery, drawing the viewer's eye to the central character on the cover. Also, the bright baby pink of the album was stand out on shelves or online, creating yet more emphasis, only this time among other competitors in the niche. Also, if you look closely, Igor is prominently displayed on the cover in bold uppercase letters. The typography is stylized with elongated serifs, giving it a distinctive yet unconventional appearance. And this is also more contrast. Now, this unique title treatment immediately captures attention and sets the tone for the album's experimental and avant-garde aesthetics. 
Tyler wanted something that was very unconventional, something that looked almost rush handmade and not given that much thought into. But if we look under the hood and properly inspect things, we can see graphic design principles have been well thought out and used throughout the entire design. Now you may or may not have heard of Muller. And no, I don't mean the yogurt thing. I mean Joseph Muller, who has made some of the most iconic poster designs ever crafted. And so how does he actually use graphic design principles here? What have become known as the Swiss star posters are all about keeping things tidy and organized. Now they stick to a grid system, which is like an invisible set of lines that everything follows and is a design principle. This keeps everything looking neat and balanced from text images, creating a sense of order and harmony. In Swiss style posters, you'll rarely ever find fancy swirly fonts with extra lines on the ends of the letters, known as serifs. They prefer clean, modern looking fonts without those extra bells and whistles. Now they're easy to read and they fit perfectly with the Swiss style focus on clarity and functionality. These posters also make sure the important things stand out by playing with things like font size, weight, color. And as you should know, this is of course hierarchy. Now it helps guide your eye to the important bits and make sure the message is crystal clear. Shape psychology also plays a huge role in things here. Now these posters, they really do love shape form squares, rectangles, circles, you name it. These simple shapes add visual interest and keep everything looking neat and tidy. They also add a structure and psychological aspect to the design itself. By sticking to clean geometric forms, Swiss style posters achieve a modern, yet also a minimalist vibe while still feeling balanced and structured. But if you really want to master graphic design principles and continue your learning on the subject, just click the video on the screen. But until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.